Hey everybody, this is Daryl, a.k.a. The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast. And today I'm wearing my <laughs> my uh, Justice League Christmas shirt. Yes, I know it's way past Christmas, but I just got this from my niece in Florida. Thank you, Carrie. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear it on this video, even though we're in early January by early January, we're almost a third of the way through January, but still, thank you, Carrie, my Justice League Christmas shirt. So now to the real reason I'm doing my video, uh, the comic book athlete, which I know I'm mispronouncing his name. I am sorry. Uh, my, my name pronunciation is brutal. The comic book athlete. But anyway, I'm going to have a link below. So definitely check out his page. Awesome content. But he had a video asking, what are the, the comic book seven deadly sins tag video? So I'm doing one. And if you all want to do one, definitely do one because this is a fun, fun video to do. Uh, the seven deadly sins are greed, wrath, gluttony, sloth, pride, lust, and envy. So I thought that's a pretty cool idea. And he asked a question, um, kind of according to each one of the categories. So I was like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing this one because this this has a lot of potential to be a lot of fun. So, uh, the first category is greed. Which YouTuber's um, ha uh, which YouTuber's house would you uh, break into and take all their comics? And I was like, well, first off, none. I'm not breaking into anybody's house. But if I did, if I did, I. Lee Kirby Dicko Comics. Uh, if you've seen their videos, I mean, it's it's like a hall of grails. It's unbelievable. Not only the, the books they get, but the high quality of their books is just unbelievable. It's, it's ridiculous. And it, it, it's almost to the point of like, I don't want to watch their videos because it's like, really? Y'all got that? Y'all got that and that great? Oh, come on. What about us poor people? But uh, Lee Kirby Dicko Comics, I highly recommend you check out their channel because the it's amazing the stuff that they get. It's just insane, and wow, just wow. So, uh, but yeah, that that's where I would go because it, it's just a thing of beauty to see their books. It really is. Uh, Lee Kirby Dicko Comics again, check them out. Um, awesome stuff. Uh, number two, Wrath. What LCS do you have a love-hate relationship with? Well, uh, I recently had, uh, back in November, my local LCS, the one I went to week in, week out, uh, they closed after, gosh, 20 years or so, may, maybe that many years in, uh, uh, over the course of two separate locations. And uh, Chris, I loved going to his shop every week. You know, if I ever needed a book, you know, right then and there, he would put it in, see if he could get it, if he could get it, boom, let me know. I wouldn't have to worry about trying to order it or anything. It was awesome. Now, I had a, another shop in town. They fell miserably at this, and I just finally just said, you know what? I'm done with your shop, and I, I'm not going to mention their name, but I, I'm just like, you know what? I, I just can't do it anymore. And so I started going to, um, to Midtown Comics. Uh, it, from here in uh, Virginia, they're in New York. It usually takes about uh, three business days to get here because uh, I put them in on Wednesday and they get here on either um, Saturday or Monday, basically depending on the weather. Uh, this week's arrived on Monday because we've had a really, really just unbelievable cold spell all the way up the East Coast. So it took an extra day this time. So, But they always package everything great. So Midtown Comics is where I pretty much go now for, for my comics since my old LCS closed. So there you go. Uh, next is Gluttony. What comic do you typically buy more than one copy of? You guys know this. <laughs> it is obviously Harley Quinn. I love my Harley Quinn comics. So I brought a few. And believe it or not, these are all doubles right here. This is, this is a small tab of my doubles. But I just, you know, a few just kind of show you some of the different Harleys that are out there. This is from the, uh, what was this? Uh, Harley's Little Black Book. They had variants, uh, uh, mystery bag variants. You know, you couldn't see what you were getting. There were three different copies. There were a sketch, ink, and color versions of them. And this is the Alex Ross one. So 
So I thought that was awesome. We got Harley over here where my fingers are practically covering her up. And Batman and Joker there. Uh, a couple of different Catwoman uh, issues. This is from, gosh, what year was this? No, uh, 2001. I almost said 91. That was even before there was a Harley Quinn. <laughs> uh, another Catwoman. I thought that was pretty cool. Like I said, these right here are just, just a, the tip of the iceberg of all my doubles I have of Harley. Yeah, the Harley Quinn. This was the Christmas special. This is from uh, 2016, actually. Right there. Is that the A cover? Yep, that was the A cover. Uh, Injustice Ground Zero. And what I like about Harley, I mean, they have so many different Harleys, really. Just different uh, writers and, and artists kind of have their own little take on it. It's the Frank Cho cover. And this is the actual uh, variant I picked for variant of the year. So I love that cover. There. Uh, Batman White Knight. We got two Harleys there. Kind of old school and new school Harleys. And you got, if you haven't read the story, great story. Uh, Suicide Squad Harley. Again, I also had the old Suicide Squad Harley. I didn't bring that one right here. The old school uh, New 52. Uh, Harley Quinn, Gangs of Harley. The Gang of Harley, not Gangs, plural Harley. Gang of Harleys. There you go. And I do like this one right here. The Adam Hughes, uh, Harley and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica. So, you know, just a few different of the Harleys. But you know what? I did have one more over here sitting here. I forgot all about this one. Justice League versus Suicide Squad Harley. So there we go. Who did that one? Uh, I don't know who did the cover on that one, but <laughs> but there you go. Just a few of the different Harleys, but you guys knew you knew, you knew Harley was gonna be that that or Batman. But because I always get well, actually Batman's I don't get doubles. I get the A cover and the B covers on them. So I guess technically I'm getting multiple copies. All right. So but again, you knew that. Uh, next is Sloth. Uh, yeah, and this one, he, you know, he was saying this is kind of a pet peeve of his, you know, slothful things, you know, which, and, but for me, it's, uh, uh, what do you neglect when it comes to your comics? I don't really neglect a lot, but sometimes when I get them right away, um, I will like put them in sections of where they need to go in my collection. But I, most of the time I let them build up for a couple of weeks and then put them in and where they belong. So I guess my sloth would be that, you know, I have comics laying around for, for a few weeks, maybe as much as a month, you know, build up a little collection of them and then put them in the, the boxes where they go in order. So yeah, I guess that, that would be my slothfulness instead of just, you know, when, after I read them, put them up. I usually, like I say, build up a little collection instead of just put like, one comic in a box. I have like four or five of them I, I can put in there as I'm going through them. So I guess, you know, that's my slothfulness. Uh, next, Pride. Um, this is number five. When I show comics on YouTube, do I get upset with a thumbs down? Uh, no. Um, and the only reason I say no is because it's part of the, it's part of the, the game, you know. And I don't like getting negative ones that, uh, you know, thumbs down at all. And I always wonder when I do get them, it's like, why? Why did I get that one? It doesn't make sense. Because they won't leave a comment. They just put a thumbs down, no comment. But, uh, and he was saying there was uh, one person that just kept, you know, video after video putting a thumbs down. And he was like, why does this one person keep doing that? And so I always wonder, why did someone give it a thumbs down? Was it something I did? Was it something that was in the video they, they didn't like? Uh, the products I had on it, you know, if it was an unboxing or if it was comic book week or whatever it was, you know, why, why was there a thumbs down? I always wanted to know that. But, you know, again, it's part of it. I don't like it, but I don't get like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm going to quit. You know, nothing like that. It's just, it's part of the game, I guess. Um... Not a great part of the game, but yeah, part of the game, I guess. Uh, next is Lust. And I think I took a different take on this than, than he has on it. Uh, what comic book artist dro uh, draws the sexiest covers? And I think his is, I guess if you're a guy, you know, who draws the sexiest females? Or, you know, if you're a guy who draws the sexiest males, can be. Or, or a woman who draws the sexiest females or sexiest males. You know, I guess, you know, depend, 
But for me, um, I took it as, for me, a sexy comic book cover it's just the cover. I mean, it can be anything from a great scene, like, like scenery, because I, I love art. I'm a huge fan of art. And a lot of it for me is it's kind of realism with it. Um, the more realistic it looks. Now, I don't want a photograph of it, even though that Gail Godot San Diego Comic-Con Wonder Woman variant is, is really cool. It's a great cover. But I like when an artist can draw something, like your Alex Ross, your Alex Garner, your uh, Adam Hughes, uh, their artwork looks so good. At times, it's almost like, is that art or is that a picture? You know, and it's so good. And I will give you an idea. Um, so I actually picking uh, Alex Garner because I actually did get to meet him in San Diego um, and a couple of other artists as well. But and this right here is I got prints here. I'm showing you. This is the cover of uh, that he did for his variant of. Wonder Woman 613, and as you can see down the bottom, he signed it over here, but I just love his artwork, and to me, amazing artwork, I think, I don't think this is the cover of anything, I don't believe, but to me, amazing art itself is really sexy, when you, you, you just, it puts you in a spot, like in a mood, and you go, wow, that is gorgeous, how does he do that? Uh, this one right here is probably my favorite one of Alex Garner is the cover of Batgirl 26, I believe it is, from the New 52 run. So he did a bunch of them in, in the New 52 Batgirl covers. And that's when I first found out who Alex Garner was. And this one in particular, I absolutely love. And I don't look at it and go, wow, Batgirl is so sexy. But to me, it's just this whole meaning behind it. You know, that's her dad. You know, Commissioner Gordon, and that's, you know, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, and, you know, he, he doesn't know that that is his daughter, Bat, that Batgirl is his daughter, and I think that, that makes that so amazing, and again, he signed it at the bottom, but <laughs> I just love this cover, that to me is so sexy, when you can put so much into a cover without it being a ton really into the cover, and of course, this one also... Love this one. Had to get that. The Gotham City Sirens that he did. Absolutely love this. Again, I don't believe this one's an actual cover. But again, just that artwork to me is amazing. And they do look very sexy. I'm not going to lie. They look very sexy. But again, just that artwork. I, I love it. Just I, When I first saw it, I just fell in love with the artwork. So, you know, really amazing artwork to me is really, really sexy. So... You know, you can take that different ways, that question. At least I can. You know. um, let's see, what else? And number seven, envy. Does it um, bug you when someone else has your holy grail? Yes, it does. When I see some videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, you got that? Come on, man. In particular, I'll tell you uh, one that was very close to me. Again, I'm a huge Harley Quinn fan. And my best friend, he was going through some old comics. And what does he come across? Batman Adventures number 12. I was like, are you kidding me? You just, He just had that set in a box somewhere. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? It's like, dude, I'll buy that from you. Nope. He put it on eBay and sold it. I was like, really, dude? You just find that in a box. You just think it's trash. And next thing you know, you sell it online. Granted, he got a lot more online than I was going to give him. But, I mean, I was going to give him a good price. Not, not Nowhere near the price he got, which he got lucky because at that time was really that peak of Harley. Harley had, those prices have dropped down a lot since then. It was ungraded, and he got a really good price. Really, really good. But I was like, man, you cannot be serious. So sometimes when I see some, some guys' videos on here, or, you know, I see uh, comics in some place. I'm like, man, they got that. Are you serious? I know they don't appreciate that as much as I would appreciate it, which that's probably not always true, but many times that's kind of my thought process behind it. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, 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 it does bug me sometimes. Sometimes it's more like, I'm glad you got that because I know how much, appreci how much you would appreciate that. 
And sometimes I'm like, gosh, I think I appreciate that a whole lot more than you. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's my seven comic book deadly sins. And again, I'm going to um, put all the, these questions down below so you guys can see them. Uh, I'm putting up, I mean, and again, I'm going to mess your name because that's who I am. I don't mean to. The comic book athlete. Athlete, I think it's athlete. I think I don't know. Gosh, I'm bad. I'm bad at names. I really am. But uh, definitely check out his page again. I'll have a link below for that as well, and I'll have the uh, seven deadly sins questions. I would love to see what you guys do with it. And if you make a video, please uh, put it down below so I can come over and check out your videos because this is a great one. This really is. Thank you for posting this video and that, this question. Absolutely awesome. So um, that's it. Seven Diddly Sins. And you guys, have an incredible day.